Hello everyone, my name is Jo Stubley. I'm a medical psychotherapist and psychoanalyst and I'm the lead clinician of the Tavistock Trauma Service. We've spent the last well, over two years now running a series of lectures. These are an hour and a half long with a lecture and discussion. These are part of the external lectures on trauma that are run by the Tavistock and Portman NHS Trust. Each of the lectures is standalone, but we hope you will join us in continuing a conversation together through the series. They originally started in person, but are now online, and this allows many more people to attend and often from a much greater distance. Of course, we know that there is some loss of our in-person contact, but we are growing a community of people from diverse settings and professions who are interested in trauma. The original idea for these series of lectures is based on the principles of the Tavistock Trauma Service. This is essentially that we work with a psychoanalytic foundation to everything that we do, but with a trauma-informed lens and using other modalities and ways of thinking to find ways of working alongside individuals with complex trauma and dissociation. We've had wonderful people join us in the past, all experts in their field. This has included Graham Music on trauma and neurobiology, Alessandra Lemmer on trauma and the body, Jan Abram on Winnicott and trauma, and most recently Sharon Lewis on intensive short-term dynamic psychotherapy and trauma. The summer series that is coming brings more wonderful people and helpful ways of understanding trauma. We'll be thinking about shutdown states, the link between eating disorders and childhood sexual abuse, and will be giving consideration to the body and self-representations and attachment research. On the 12th of May, we have Anne Alvarez, who is a consultant child and adolescent psychotherapist who has worked for many years in the Tavistock with expertise in autism and working with deprived and often shut down children. Her latest book, The Thinking Heart, Three Levels of Psychoanalytic Therapy with Disturbed Children was published in 2012. The title of Anne's lecture is The Problem of Empty States of Mind and the Uninteresting Internal Object. She describes those children who have perhaps given up in despair. As she says, such patients seem not to be hiding, but lost, not withdrawn, but undrawn. Many of us working with adults who have been neglected and deprived as children will recognise these descriptions, often seen in their social withdrawal, their shutdown states, both externally and internally. On the 7th of July, Annette Gurr's lecture is entitled Foreign Bodies, Eating Disorders, Childhood Sexual Abuse and Trauma-Informed Treatment. Dr Gurr is an experienced psychotherapist clinical social worker and expert in the treatment of child sexual abuse and complex PTSD, and she is based in Israel. Her first book, Abandoned Women, Women in Prostitution, created a new public awareness and shift in the Israeli discourse regarding prostitution, leading to new progressive legislation designed to protect women. Her second book, which holds the same title as this lecture, was published in 2019 and became an Israeli bestseller, revolutionising the way that eating disorders are seen in the country. On the 8th of September, the title of the talk is The Self as Seen, The Self as Felt, Attachment and Body Representations. Miriam Steele will be giving this lecture and she is a professor in psychology and co-director of the Centre for Attachment Research at the New School for Social Research. She bridges the world of psychoanalytic thinking and clinical practice with contemporary research and child development. She will be describing for us research which uses the mirror paradigm to explore links between unfavorable attachment experiences and negative body image and how this may impact transgenerationally. I'm sure that each of these lectures will provide a rich feast for all of us in understanding and working with trauma. For me, the coming together and discussing what we have learned is food for the soul. I do hope you will join us and become part of this growing community. Thank you.